What's up fellas, this is Chad House here and I've got a video for you about cholesterol and testosterone. It's gonna clarify a lot about cholesterol, a lot of the myths about cholesterol and your health and what you can do to have good cholesterol, bad cholesterol and so forth and how you can use cholesterol to naturally increase your testosterone levels which is what men all wanna do. Cholesterol has been demonized in the past few decades and we've also seen a decline in testosterone in the past few decades. So is there a connection or is there no connection? Do they have nothing to do with each other? We're gonna go through three studies that show there is a connection and I'm gonna show you what what to eat to boost the right kind of cholesterol and how to remove the bad kind. All right, so what is cholesterol? So cholesterol is a lipid molecule that's essential for life. In fact, if you're not getting enough externally through your diet, your liver will actually synthesize it on its own just to keep you healthy and alive. Cholesterol is active in all cells, but it's especially dense in the membrane, where it allows cells to transmit messages through to one another to keep your body functioning properly. Cholesterol is also found in your brain, where it's very prevalent in your brain. It's used in a ton of functions that go on up there, allowing you to think and act and, and do everything you need to do as a human. So we need cholesterol. So cholesterol, as you may know, is also the precursor to your sex hormones, especially testosterone. So the testosterone cholesterol connection takes place in the final phase of testosterone synthesis when luteinizing hormone triggers testicular Leydig cells to convert cholesterol into testosterone in your testes. So it's vital for testosterone. Studies about testosterone and cholesterol. One year long study involved 4,000 men studied the correlation between HDL cholesterol and testosterone levels simply by measuring the two, HDL and testosterone, within the large sample size. The research confirmed that men who had higher levels of HDL cholesterol, we'll get into this in a sec, also had higher levels of testosterone. It's a big, big correlation. Another study recorded in endocrine abstracts sampled 293 men with type 2 diabetes, also drew a direct link between HDL cholesterol and testosterone levels, indicating that the lower the HDL cholesterol was, the lower that the testosterone levels were. Another correlation. Study number three, showing the adverse effects of a low cholesterol diet. This study published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism, tested the effects of low fat diets on testosterone levels in men. They discovered that after eight weeks of a low fat diet, subjects saw a reduction in testosterone and DHT, the most potent form of testosterone. So the more HDL cholesterol you have flowing through your body, the higher your testosterone levels are gonna be. So now let's get into cholesterol. There's two types of cholesterol, LDL and HDL. The cholesterol part is actually not the bad part. The dangerous part of cholesterol is the lipoprotein. That's the dangerous part. And there's two lipoproteins, large and small density. Larger HDL are now seen to have no effects on heart disease and so forth. Dense LDL particles are the ones believed to be most involved in the process of inflammation that begins the cascade of heart issues. But it's not a high fat diet and cholesterol that causes this to happen. This is big. It's actually a diet that's high in simple carbs that increases your LDL cholesterol. Most doctors completely miss this distinction. So they'll test your cholesterol levels, you'll have high cholesterol or relatively high cholesterol, and they'll put you on some medication, but they don't test the kind of cholesterol. LDL bad, HDL good, LDL is increased by simple carbs, HDL is increased by saturated fat, cholesterol coming from your diet and so forth. HDL increases testosterone, LDL does nothing for your testosterone. Thus, cholesterol isn't bad, fats aren't bad, and sugars do more harm. So now we come to eggs. Eggs should be a big part of your diet. Eggs are filled with HDL cholesterol and saturated fat, and they're full of nutrients, and I'm not talking about the whites, I'm talking about the yolks. I eat eggs every day, two to four eggs every day, depending if I'm having steak at night or not, or some kind of animal at night. You want to have HDL cholesterol in your diet. You want to have a good amount. So a good amount of HDL cholesterol coming from saturated monounsaturated fats would be 30 to 40% of your caloric intake. So let's recap. Cholesterol is not bad. LDL cholesterol is bad. That is heavily influenced by simple carb sugars and so forth. Basically refined sugars that are not natural to humans. Fruits, everything like that is great but the refined sugars are something you wanna stay away from, processed foods and so forth. HDL cholesterol is actually good for your testosterone levels and you want them to be a part of your diet. 
eggs, steaks, animals, avocados, things like that, oils, uh, olive oil is a great source. You want to have as a healthy part of your diet, which will help you increase your testosterone levels and be healthy. You need cholesterol for more than just your testosterone levels. Anyway, I hope that helped. If you want more information on how to eat, eat like a man, pick up my book, The Man Diet. We go into cholesterol, we go into intermittent fasting, we go into when to eat what. It's a full diet for men to increase their testosterone levels and I already paid for it for you. Just head to themandietbook.com, cover a small shipping cost and I'll ship this to you in the mail for free. So pick up The Man Diet. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, give it a share. I'll produce a lot more videos on testosterone and other topics to come. So I'll talk to you soon.